this is Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog. Now, this is actually a little bit of a surprise, because I guess ABC wants to make it, like, pretty special that this is the season finale, and let's get it done right now. So, we actually got a double episode for this Muppet Vlog. The first one that I'm going to be looking at is, uh, generally inhospitable, and then afterwards is because... Love. And I, I had to do it like that, because, like... Gen you know, you, you gotta do it a bit like Pepe, because that's how the title is spelled out, you know. You, you gotta go out because... Love. A and that's kind of the thing. But anyways, we're going to start things off with uh, Generally Inhospitable. And with this one, is actually rather really interesting, I gotta say. Because it starts out like there might be something going on, but it turns out this is probably the most Muppet Show-like episode that you can ever have. Uh, the, the last time that, like, we got something like this was in the 11th episode where they introduced new sketches and stuff like that. But this one, this is, like, full-on Muppet Show. And, like, they didn't really do new sketches. They brought some old stuff back. But basically what happened was that, like, it starts off with Miss Piggy getting a bit of a dancing accident where she broke her leg to the point that, like, she had to go to the hospital. And, um, Pache, once again, is actually back, and he wanted to find a replacement for Miss Piggy, but, um, like, some of the writing crew, they decided to say no, and they put, like, they pushed Pache in, and they just locked him in one of the dressing rooms and stuff like that. So Kermit decided, you know what, at this point, why don't we make a show in Miss Piggy's hospital and stuff like that. And at that point, like, everything is off, like, the rest of the episode is just, uh, a Muppet Show episode. And it actually is really fascinating, and as a Muppet fan, it really is exciting to see, like, the throwback to many of these old sketches. Um, like, the biggest thing that they did brought back was Veterinarian's Hospital. Well, almost. Like, it was only Rolf and Janice that, like, they came in. Miss Piggy was, was in the hospital bed. Well, normally, I'm not usually a fan of Veterinarian's Hospital in the original Muppet Show because it's just an overbearing amount of dumb puns and stuff like that. But this is actually rather funny because uh, their patient is actually an actual random patient that's in the hospital. So it actually does add into that humor and stuff like that. And another cool sketch that they actually brought in was actually not one, but they actually fused one. Where they did, um, they brought in Swedish Chef, and they also have, uh, Dr. Bunsen, Honeydew, and Beaker doing one of their weird experiments. Which includes, like, um, turning a meatball into ice cream using liquid nitrogen, and, you know, having Beaker be the taste tester and stuff like that. So, uh, the rest of the shenanigans go from there. And then we also have a musical segment. Like, they actually, s the, the, the episode actually legit stopped in order to have a musical, uh, segment with um w with willie nelson and it, it actually is really nice it's willie nelson and also uh the electric mayhem just singing along and it, it actually is really cool you know just watching it just like relaxing and having fun with it it's actually really nice and um it, it, it's actually re really great and like willie nelson did do a pretty good performance there like it actually is cool seeing willie nelson with the electric mayhem I'm trying to remember if there are any other sketches and stuff like that, but I don't necessarily think so. But that wasn't the only thing that happened. Like, another part was actually focusing on the guys trying to hold back Pache uh, in that dressing room and stuff like that, and trying to figure out what to do. So, uh, basically, Yolanda apparently is a very good impressionist of uh, Pache and stuff like that, so, like, she does all these random calls and stuff. And, uh, at one point, like, we suddenly learn a bit more about Pache that he never had a good relationship with his father, which could probably explain, uh, explain his dickish attitude and stuff like that. But, basically, this is gonna be a little bit of a spoiler, though, that, uh, Pache revealed, like, apparently he had a call, well, like, he had a call from his dad, and, like, that apparently would solve the ultimate problems, but, like, he finally, he, he was just there and just smiles like, I just got a call from Papa. I'm gonna go back home and I'm gonna go and do the family business and stuff. And it's like, he seems pretty hypnotized and stuff. And for me, honestly, when I saw that, it seems like this could be the departure of Pache, but 
And like, I feel inside, it's like, this seems a little too easy, and this seems a little too sneaky. Like, um, I, I don't know, maybe they're gonna plan something for next season to, to have Pache to do, but if this is like the end of Pache, if he actually is going back to his family and stuff like that, then actually that is great. Either way, no, actually, I would prefer... If that would actually be the case, if somehow he suddenly turned hypnotized and he goes back to his family, great. Because that, basically, on the newer episodes, he pretty much is the biggest problem, so... At least, like, they actually solved that problem, so... Okay! Uh, but yeah, but, like, even that portion... Uh, there, like, there, there are a lot of laughs that, that has gone into it, since... Um, it was pretty much a collaborative work with, uh, Rizzo, Yolanda... Pepe, Big Mean Carl, and Sweetums, and like a lot of great, like a lot of great bits actually came out from that, and uh, especially like at one point Rizzo had to go and find uh, the cell phone inside Big Mean Carl, and uh, you know, you know, like it does bring out a lot of great bits and stuff like that, but of course I think we know like one of the biggest parts was also at the end when we're actually getting seriously close to the point that Miss Piggy is in love, like, Kermit and Miss Piggy are finally gonna get back together, it's like, now we're starting to see the ultimate connection, now we're starting to see that it is real. And, uh, basically, I would say, overall, for that episode, it actually is very nice, it, it actually is, um, you know, it is a really good throwback to the original Muppets and stuff like that, showing new, like, new ideas with, uh, old sketches and stuff. Overall, I would say that it definitely is a lot of fun. So, uh, it, it definitely is the most Muppet Show-like episode. And even for those who might not like uh, the new Muppets and stuff like that, this is probably the one that they'll enjoy the most since it is the Muppet Show. Like, it, like it, for, those, uh, for those who don't like the show who just want the Muppet Show back, then this is probably the episode they'll like the most. But, however, we're not done here yet. Um, we also got another episode, uh, to talk about here, and that is the series, uh, the season finale, sorry about that, well, I don't know, maybe in the future I might be correct on this, but, uh, I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see, but anyways, the season finale, which is because, love, and, uh, basically, this one may not be as good as the last one, because in terms of story, this is where you would find, like, the predictable romantic comedy kind of setting where okay because i'm gonna be honest yeah now we could see that they're gonna get back together i didn't say that they are gonna get back together though because the big thing is is that like now we're in the phase of are we sure are we unsure i don't know it's like it like it's this ultimate kind of juggle and like we see kermit who feels like he is a bit unsure because, like, everybody tells tells him, like, oh, they're unsure and all that kind of stuff. Like, it's that ultimate juggle. And then Miss Piggy discovers that, like, Kermit was unsure before he, like, he fully says yes. And, like, we, we get all that kind of drama and stuff like that. So, basically, it's kind of your typical romantic comedy setting where, um, like, the love is there, but we're not 100% sure if it's, like you know, close together and stuff like that, so, like, like, is it there, is it not there, so, like, they're, they're trying to juggle the idea, and they're still trying to push the notion, like, oh, Kermit and Miss Piggy are, might get back together, but maybe they won't, like, they're still pushing it, that's the thing, uh, like, it, like, it is kind of the ultimate tease and stuff like that, like, it was annoying, like, I will admit, it's not as annoying as it previously was, because, like, now at this point, like, because it is the romantic comedy kind of setting, like, we know at this point, like, it is predictable and stuff like that. And we know that at the end and stuff, like, at the end of the day, like, they are gonna get back together. Unfortunately, it's not on this episode because they kind of left off on this weird cliffhanger, re re uh, like, um, revolving Thailand and stuff like that. I don't know how they're going to work that out. But other than that, I will say that in terms of of the episode like other than what happened with the whole romantic thing um this is definitely 
a sign that it was a season finale because not only was in the previous episode they did like so many throwbacks with stuff uh, with stuff like uh, veterinarian's hospital having a musical segment with a special guest star and also um uh, what was another thing like uh, oh yeah like having the combination of the Swedish chef and also uh, the Dr. Bunsen Honeydew and Beaker but also uh, in this one somehow there are so many of the new like so many of the older Muppets that came back in some like Link Hogthrob and uh, other people like they're or like um, I think really old Tom or like one of the old Toms from Muppet Treasure Island are have actually returned and stuff like that but the, the, the thing is, is that they also brought back a lot of the old characters. Uh, they brought back Mar uh, Marvin Suds and the Muppet Phone. Uh, they brought back Bobby Benson and his bouncing babies. Uh, they even got back Crazy Harry. Suddenly he had like a little cameo appearance and stuff like that. Oh, and also, of course, it is the Muppets. Uh, they brought back Manamana. So basically, I will admit, this one does have, or actually overall... Like, with all the episodes and stuff like that, it does have this overall feeling that's a bit similar to uh, the 2011 Muppets, where they do a lot of throwbacks to some of the past sketches and a lot of the old moments and also a lot of the old Muppets that came from uh, the previous, like, Muppet Show episode, like, from the previous, like, Muppet Shows and stuff like that. Like, it is a lot of the throwback, like, it is a lot of the throwbacks, but at least, like, there are a few that maybe, uh, some of the modern audiences might not actually get, but thanks to the success of stuff like Muppets Most Wanted and the, uh, the 2011 Muppets, they are surely gonna get, like, Mana, like, I'm sure, like, when Mana Mana comes out, like, people are gonna be like, oh, it's Mana Mana, like, of course they're gonna know it, so, it, it's definitely, there's a lot of these throwbacks and stuff like that. But I would say overall with Because Love, yeah, this is basically, this is an indicator that it is a season finale because it's such a big sign that, like, they, they brought back some of the old Muppets and stuff like that. And also the fact that, oh yeah, and there there is another, like, musical guest star. They brought in Jack White, who helped Kermit out tremendously in terms of, like, what does he want to do with his love with Miss Piggy and also, like, filling in for Bruno Mars, apparently. So, like, he did that. So, basically, he helped out with that. But, yeah, like I said, overall, this is an indicator that it is a season finale with the fact that they brought in uh, so many of, like, the old Muppets and stuff like that. They brought back a lot of the old sketches. Like, th basically, like, you could tell, like, a lot of the old Muppets returned for this special occasion of the season finale. But I will say it is a little bit predictable, considering that they want to do that old, um kind of romantic comedy cliche of having like oh it's like the unsure thing like this is basically the romantic comedy cliche of the uncertainty the dramatic part of a romantic comedy if you will but anyways that is pretty much it for this Muppet vlog however we're not fully through with the 2015 Muppet series just yet Tune in to the next Muppet Vlog, and I will do my first ever season review. See you later, dudes!